Welcome to Free Legal Awareness YouTube channel friends. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the cases related to if any judicial authority had booked and finally issued summons to the constitutional bodies, what will happen? What is the consequences? And what will be the uh, you know outcome? for the appeal of the aggrieved party for their grievance redressal mechanism. Recently, in the state of Telangana, a judge, namely Justice Jay Kumar, was suspended by the Honorable Apex Court of India, Supreme Court. In the, why he had suspended? Actually, in one of the MLA's my, you know, in the state of Telangana disqualification process, during the investigation of those disqualification, the said MLA, the allegations came that the said MLA had, uh, you know, tampered the affidavit process during the elections of 2018, you know, uh, general elections. But due course of time, the this judge, Justice Jay Kumar, had issued uh, summons and uh, directed the competent authority like police authority to file in first investigation report, FIR, on respondents, that is Mr. Srinivas Gaur, who is presently uh, Minister for Excise uh, for, for the state of Telangana, and others, uh, who are there during the uh, election commission agents like you know uh, district collector Mr. Ronald Ras and uh, district uh, election in charges state election in charges this judge Justice Jay Kumar has directed to police authority to book to file an FIR on those even the election commission of India representatives too but here what is the uh, issue means here the election commission of india is a constitutional body constitutional body means there are few governmental bodies which are framed under the different articles uh, which are incorporated in uh, indian constitution those are the constitutional bodies like election commission upsc union public service commission central vigilance commission finance commission and etc 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 so and so but the judicial authority uh, you know has uh, uh, e uh, you know imposed these summons and uh, directed police authorities to uh, register fir this, this was you know pointed as a wrong by the and uh, you know uh, unconstitutional by the honorable apex court of india that is supreme court in this reason, the Mr. Justice Jay Kumar had suspended for a while and the Honorable Supreme Court also directed the suspended judge not to go again, you know, beyond the Hyderabad during this uh, the investigation of this case. So, in this video, we knew the consequences of uh, you know directing the summons, notices and uh, etc. to the constitutional bodies. So I hope uh, through this video we had know the how the box related between the judiciary and executory legislative process too. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any doubts uh, across India and international law, kindly comment my in my comment box. We'll discuss it that uh, issue in subsequent videos. Thank you so much. This is your Dr. K Rajesh Kumar. Founder and President for Advocates for Universal Responsible Association, Aura. Thank you.